All right, welcome back, everybody. I'm Aaron. And I'm Aaron. This is our show, Cryptocosm, where I talk about the astrological forecast. And I bring you your daily crypto news. That's right. And we, what is it? Today is February 1st. We had just hit that major eclipse last night, the first of the year. I love eclipses. All right, this was in Leo and Aquarius. So the, the moon was in Leo, the sun was in Aquarius. Personally, I was born on a full moon lunar eclipse. So they affect me in a very different way than they do most people. But the reason I love it is it's transparency. All right, it's all about bringing things that we don't see into the light. Me, I try to live my life very transparent. But it's all about bringing things up that we don't always see, right? So we're talking about the eclipse, we're seeing what are we hiding? What shadows are we hiding in our own selves, right? It's like opening up your heart, opening up to love, opening up to uh, different aspects of yourself and say, I've been kind of, been kind of uh, secretive about this part of myself. I've been hiding this aspect of myself. I'm trying to make sure that nobody sees it so I can protect it. And, and you know, it makes me feel safe and everything. It's just like, yeah. Time to let that go. It's time you know? for some visibility. Absolutely. Visibility, transparency. Let's light this stuff up. Let's light this moon up. You know, so it's like, what have you not been honest about? We're going to call you out. We're going to see it. So, Aaron, what have you not been honest about? What are you holding out on me? Speaking of exposing some shadows, we have a major issue going on in the crypto community right around this time. And the biggest issue is centering right around now Tether and Bitfinex. Tether and Bitfinex. Tell Tether me about Tether. Tether, Tether is, I'm sorry, Tether, you are a disgrace to the crypto community. We're calling you out. And it's because of things like Tether, unfortunately, which is almost slowing down the progression, or, or maybe in some essences, speeding it up because of the rules and regulations that are being put on cryptocurrencies are, for instance, just like Tether. So what Tether proposes is it is a coin, and this coin is kind of a, an imposter. It's but it's, they're saying they're saying that they are a solid, stable coin, right? That's they're back. that's that's right. Come so, join us in this pretty little parade <laughs> over here. We're gonna we're gonna just give you all the sugar and candy and spices. But what's yeah, on the other side of that? Diabetes, <laughs> right? So for every tether coin, <laughs> it's supposedly supposed to be backed by a one dollar. U.S. dollar. Dollar, so dollar bill. One to one proportion. And it showed, it stayed very, very stable, surprisingly. I mean, there's there's some points where the peak demands and it kind of rises up a cent or two, or it drops down a cent or two to base, based on the trading. But uh, it, it proposes the one to one ratio. Mm -hmm. And it's been thought of by some, just some, that it might be a safe haven or cryptocurrency. So it's a place to put your money when you're thinking the Bitcoin is going to go down or, or you need to transfer from this coin exchange to that coin exchange. And it's just been used as a means of stabilizing funds. Now that's been great for a little while. And the issue is, is there's no way to tell whether or not this coin actually has this money backed by it. Not only that, let's just let's just let's let's reel it in for a second here. So if we have now we're coming our country, you know, I'm sure this is worldwide we're watching this right now. So as right now, our country, one dollar in currency is one dollar and our nation is in debt. So if we have three trillion dollars out in the world, that means our country is three trillion dollars in debt. This is the system we've set up. Now what I like about cryptocurrency is we're getting away from this debt. Okay. Absolutely. We're we're Enough of that. We're getting away from this this debt that we've created with the system. Okay? We have this self leveling economy, right. if you will. So so now it's saying, come join this this you know parade, and we're going to paint this beautiful picture. But we're still in the exact same system that we're in right now. We're still in a currency of debt. That does not make sense to me. This is not the new. This is not what we're thinking of. Tether, and that's that's why it's 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 really a huge thing around the crypto community right now. So both Tether and the trading exchange Bitfinex yeah. have been subpoenaed by the CFTC. Now, what happened? They, now, didn't uh, Tether just have their own uh, auditor? or uh, um... They had an audit uh, auditing partnership with Friedman LLP. Right. Whose relationship has since been dissolved. They did not release who exactly <laughs> broke up with who in the details. So they kind of left some of the gossip out of it. But they do know that it was tied into the... British Virgin Islands and t 
tied into Bitfinex Exchange as well. So it seems solid. Just Absolutely. solid players. I mean, one of the biggest Bitcoin exchanges <laughs> out there today. And actually just, <laughs> just recently moved down to number two, according to CoinMarketCap, because of all the FUD that's being spread Good. around. Absolutely. Serves you right, Bitfinex. Calling but you out. Some of the major th <laughs> issues here is, is not, not only do we not know if it's actually backed by U.S. dollars, but they can issue more whenever they want. It sounds like our Federal Reserve, it's doesn't a, it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a printing press. They can release, in January alone, they've released 850 million coins. Do we know if there's money backing there? No, we don't. Do we know if somebody even attempted to trade that dollar in the first place for those 850 million no. coins? No. We so don't. this pretty little picture we've painted is full of, full of dookie. All right. Absolutely. And we're not we're not having that stuff anymore. You know, besides this eclipse that's just happened and, and illuminating these shadows. All right, we're talking about Mercury. Mercury, at just an hour after the eclipse, has left the Capricorn party, okay? The Capricorn party is over. It is an Aquarius party right now. So we have the Sun, we have Venus, and we have Mercury is now joined in this sign of Aquarius, which is about future. It's about the community, okay? So when we're talking about the community, we're talking about selflessness. This sounds like selfish, greedy, uh, mm -hmm. the same story same over, trying to pan a different go, thing again. and just, just put your money in and we're going to, you know, it's like, And no. it's sad because we have a really, really great thing going on and, and we don't know how much of this full money is floating out around there and it's altering the cryptocurrency market. So, mm -hmm. With all the fear and uncertainty and doubt circling around, it definitely is adding to some of these low lows that we're having right now. I and mean, we're seeing these low lows right absolutely. now. Absolutely. It seems like, you know, everyone got their like their Christmas spirit up, you know, and like, <laughs> oh, ho, ho, Santa Claus is going to just double my money, which, you know, if you played your cards right, he did. Um, but then it's just like, boom, we hit, you know, uh, we hit that Capricorn party and everything just sank. You know, we just hit that Red Sea. We sank down. Honestly, we're looking at the astrology just a, and it, a head, it's going to be like this for a hot minute. I don't really anticipate a, a huge rise until about mid-March, to be perfectly honest, with just looking at just the astrology alone. Um, and then that's that's not a terrible thing, but it's like the the fear, you know, it's the fear that was, it was pulling everybody out. You know, like our very first episode was it's like, about fear, you know, uh, it's like don't let fear push you out of this game. And it's fine right now because as everything's going down, those of us who are invested, those of us who believe in this in the long run, we're buying the dip. That's you know? right. Buy the dip. It, buy the dip. Gentlemen. You heard the song. It's the not, phrase of the it's, day. It's great. You know, it, it's hilarious. But so we're not upset about people pulling out. But at the same time, this is going to pick back up and start moving again. And and if you let fear knock you out of the game, you're in for a kind of a it's a disaster. Go. I mean, it's, it's, it's coming back well. up. It's not going anywhere. But so these companies, it, it's it's striking that fear into people, and it's making it seem uncertain, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to see an extreme support, then we're 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 buying we're buying high and we're selling low. I mean, it's it's kind of kind of becoming a thing. It's the opposite of what you're supposed to do. Yeah, that that you flip it around, guys. This is the great time to put more money in. You m want to make sure we can't stress this enough. I mean, if you guys are making killer gains, I mean, a thousand, two thousand percent gains, pull some of that off, skim it off, and save it for these times because they come around two to three times a year. Mm. It's a normal thing. We get 50% corrections. We could hit a 76% correction or so. I mean, we could see Bitcoin drop as low as almost $8,000 before we really start peaking up again and seeing the next ramp up. I'll take two. <laughs> <laughs> Sign me up. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's, it's right now, it's, it's, we're moving to the community. We're moving forward. We're looking at everybody. We're looking at everything. We're looking at all of these things and saying, this is garbage. Get out of the game. This, let's put my money in this. What can we put our money in right now? What does seem like a stable thing? If you want to buy in right now, if we're going to say, okay, this is garbage, this is garbage, well, we're going to help, we're going to help, you know, kind of spread the sea for you in that, in that aspect. So what right now should we be putting money into? Well, as of today, I actually did happen to take a look at the charts and take a look at really the top 10. Um, and my personal best guess at this point, and actually what I'm going to divvy my money up here, is actually Bitcoin at this point in time. According to the moving averages that we have, we have the most support 
for Bitcoin at this time. Now that's crazy how that happened. So if we go back into what, let's see, Bitcoin Cash just made an outroar when Bitcoin or when Coinboy, <laughs> Coinbase Coin Boy. said that they, when Coinboy said he was going to buy Bitcoin Cash, when Coinbase adopted Bitcoin Cash into their coin market, making it the fourth coin, the only you know out of the only four coins you can buy through Coinbase, yeah. it went through the roof. You know, my my hypothesis back then was everybody is going to jump ship out of Bitcoin, start dumping money into Bitcoin Cash, and that's exactly what happened. It went up to about $4,000, maybe, give or take, mm -hmm. 41 somewhere around there. That's right. Then drop, 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 drop. And at that time, Bitcoin itself was just plummeting. And I'm like, dude, all of these people are going to jump onto this ship. They're going to abandon, you know, old faithful over here to, to go for this young gun running guy. Now, there are some really beautiful things about Bitcoin Cash, about the faster transaction times. Lower transaction lower fees. Lower transaction fees. These are huge. You know, I have a good friend that lives out in uh, California. He's just like, I I, I want to trade into this, uh, you know, in some of these altcoins, but man, he's like, you know, he's, he's a miner. And so all he has is he has an extensive amount of Bitcoin. And then when Coinbase uh, split, he his account also got the Bitcoin cash. But he's like, I'm afraid to make some of these moves. Here go fear again because of the price of Bitcoin being so high. So Bitcoin cash kind of solved some of those issues, but it's still not a universal coin. Its value just plummeted. I mean, before it spiked, it was at 18. OK, now it's at 14 today. You know, we're like, man, we are lower than we were in mm -hmm. in December and November of last year. So Actually, to correct you, I think we're at about eleven five right now. It's 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 tinkering. So, so that's almost the same price as mm -hmm. Ethereum. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Ethereum, sorry, is the one thousand. So we're at about a ten thousand dollar difference. But we and also have Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash. There we go. Let's talk about Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash and Ethereum are almost the same, the same price. price. Yeah, bananas. Absolutely. Bananas. So we're seeing that pullback, that full pullback, and we're seeing this correction, and we are realizing where our true value really lies. And this is absolutely normal in the stock markets, and the futures, etc. I mean, it's 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 part of the game. It's part of the cycle. You know, and not only that we have these, yeah, everybody wants to hop onto this new ship. We have a lot of new ships that are coming out. We have mm -hmm. Robinhood app, which <laughs> has actually got over 1 million new users waiting to hop on the crypto train for Robinhood's free trading platform for crypto. So that's just one of the many things. And also in Cure, in the middle of Q1 here, we're also waiting on Ethos, which is going to be the first of its kind to have a universal I'm very excited about ethos. wallet. I cannot I'm very wait ethos. for Ethos. I think a large part of the community is is, is wishing and yeah. wanting and hoping and waiting for Ethos. Just for the fact that you can put all your coins in one spot. One spot. You know, you're not one divvied spot. up between Coinbase and, and, and Binance and GDAX or how universal many are trading there? platform. So right. where you can trade all your coins in one platform, it's gonna be so much easier. They have their own coin as well, so you can buy into their coin. Instead Absolutely. of having to buy into Bitcoin, you know, that's the thing. None of this tether crap. Right. I got to buy into Bitcoin. If I, if I put $1,000 in Coinbase into Bitcoin, what is it was a $50 transaction fee. So I only put $900, you know, $950 of that 1000 in there. And then if I want to transfer that over to Binance, that's going to cost me another 20 bucks. And then to buy, buy that into my altcoins, you know, it's just like we, I've lost almost $100 just by trying to get where I want to go. And to me, that's that ten, almost 10%. Fees are going to be one of the biggest killers of profits, especially for the little guys. I mean, that's that's a big chunk. If, if you're paying $1,000 and you're buying these, you know, you got your life savings, you know, you're 18 or 19 years old and you're, you're chucking in your $1,000, by the time you actually get the coin you want, you may only have $900. Yeah. That's, a, that's 10%. Yeah, so Ethos is going to be huge. I'm very excited about that company. I'm very excited. They're supposed to release. They were supposed to release some information, or it was supposed to be out in January. All right, we've seen some delays across the board. Now, we, I will. We've seen them across the board in in so many departments, and I will personally attest that I think that Mercury Square uh, Uranus has been a huge part of that, and it's just been it's been hard. It's you know these two are trader of goods with with the unpredictable we don't know what's going to happen you know we've, we've been talking about uranus here and we're going to talk about it throughout the entire freaking year all right we have you know but that square is going to be done in about two days i think on the third 
on the third, Mercury is finally finished with the square. And then just shortly after here, in, in about a month, Uranus stops squaring Pluto. So it's like this Pluto-Uranus square that's been happening since 2012. <laughs> six years, friends, six years. It's finally gonna lighten up and move along. We're finally going into some there greener pastures, some new territory where these hard aspects of conflict, you know, it's like internal, internal conflicts. Um, they're going to just disappear and be like, oh, yeah, remember when it was like that <laughs> not too long ago? And you're like, man, that was just that seemed like years ago. We were in the thick of that. It was gross. You know, it's like it's like, I don't know. I'm just thinking of like the uh, Ghostbusters when the in Ghostbusters 2, when they get up from the sewer and they're they're just covered in all the slime. But yet they had this eureka moment and they're like. Vakeman, we've just found, you know, this this huge, you know, this Eureka, we've got this thing. But at the same time, we're just covered in crap and we just got to go just get, uh, just rinse it all off. So we're, we're coming to that great shower. It's coming I really here. hope we get rid of a lot of these scams that are out there. We got yeah. rid of BitConnect. Now we're trying to shake Tether's tree right now and get rid of that. We get rid of some of these, you know, garbage ICOs that are coming out promising the world. And then they they have, you know, you sign your waiver and basically say, oh, yes, you could take my money and leave whenever you'd like to. Call me we, out. We need an end to this. <laughs> I mean, we, this, is, this is legit. There are so many uses and, and needs for cryptocurrency yeah, out there. We, we just need to get these regulations in place so we can start getting everybody on board. Let's get the big guys. Let's get Amazon. Let's get McDonald's. I think McDonald's I, is already getting on the train. But... I mean, we really just need to just even this out so we can take the next giant leap forward. And it's coming. It's coming. It is. If it you guys is. have been following us, you Total, know it's baby. coming around Total. May. It's coming around May. We're going to see some serious movements, some serious solidifications, but right now we are seeing this dip. By the dip. By the dip. Listen to this guy. He he does not. I'm telling you, if I if I had a billion dollars, I, I wouldn't even think twice and be like, Aaron, I don't even, I just take it. And just do, just well, do. I'm not gonna lie. I, I didn't mortgage my house, but uh, I mean, I took my cans back. I've, I've, I've pulled, <laughs> cashed in my change jar, and 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 we're putting we're putting the rest in because that's what you do. You buy it's time. the dip. You buy the dip. You got to go right. all in. You got to go right. all in. It's time. I can get ten to fifteen more substratum in my pocket. You know what? I'm gonna take that chance right now. That's right. It's right. well worth the trip. You're like, oh, poor homeless guy. He's collecting candy. He's like, no, son, I'm trying to get some more of that, that Bitcoin in me, you know? <laughs> this one can's going to be $10,000 next year. Well, look at it. Yeah, here in Michigan, <laughs> uh, one can's 10 cents. You could have bought yourself, you know, three Tron. That's <laughs> You know, three Tron tokens, and then you could have bought a whole 12-pack of Rock and Rye. Absolutely. That's Fago for you if you're not from here. That's, that's, the, good, that's the good soda you don't that's know Michigan about. That's Michigan homegrown. That's right. All right. So, folks... It's the uncovering time, all right? It's the, not only about these coins, but it's about our own personal lives. It's about bringing these things, these shadows out. Let's bring it out. Open up your heart. Open up to love. Be compassionate. Be compassionate to people. My God, the world needs more love, doesn't it? Absolutely. And maybe just a little bit of true wisdom. <laughs> Let's do it. What do we got today? What do what the, the true wisdom oracle cards say for the day? Well, you cut the deck. Oh, I'm pulling it. Here we go. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. I thought that said Ronald McDonald for a moment. It says <laughs> Roald Dahl. Well, Those who don't believe in magic, in magic will never find it. And you know what? If you don't hodl, you're never going to make the gains, ladies and gentlemen. Hodl. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification button so you can stay up to date with us all the time. That's right. We'll see you next time. Cryptocosm.